guys, today we're gonna be doing my makeup routine. This is gonna be basically my everyday type of makeup routine because people always ask and at some point I'll do like my full makeup routine which is what more people ask to see but I'm going to get my hair done and I don't want to be like with tons of makeup, you know what I mean? To get my hair done, cause that would just be like awkward. But first we need to do a little bit of skincare because we just do, okay? Ah, oh, okay, so first I have these two acne, ow, patches on, they hurt, ow, ow, the way that peeled off my tan. Okay, first thing I do is tone my face. This is a new routine. This is new as in like started this yesterday. Besides the toning thing. Been doing this. Got it in my eye. I think toner is the number one thing that helps my acne out of everything that I do. Maybe it's just, I don't know, because I was using a different toner for a minute and it was so bad and made my acne worse. Yeah, I don't know how either. Then I got all these serums yesterday and I used them all and I liked it a lot. I used them last night and woke up and I was like, oh, I love it. So I'm gonna use it in the morning. So instead of at night, I've decided because I feel like that just makes more sense. But this is Moisture Hydration Age Defense. Okay, I feel like the retinol will go first. Guys, I don't have like a little routine yet for it. I don't even know even what I'm, oh, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. It's dripping down. Also, you really don't need a lot, I've noticed, because these like spread a ton. This is age defense. Cool. Defending my age. Thanks, retinol. Have you guys heard? I don't know, because I go on TikTok. Everyone talks about retinol, retinol, retinol. So I got it. We'll do moisturizing formula and then brightening formula. And I just, I don't know, it said you can use them all together, so that's what I've been doing. But I seriously, I put them all on last night and woke up this morning and was like, wow, I just love how my skin looks. After a single night, isn't that insane? Last one, vitamin C. The other one was hydroron hydroronic, hyaluronic. And this one is brightening formula. And then I have another brightening serum that I got. It's Neutrogena and it was really expensive for this tiny bottle, which just made me think that it has to be good, right? So, but I don't know, is it bad to have like four different serums on your face at once? It feels like it could be bad, but also feels like it's probably fine. See, I already just feel so great. This is the Neutrogena one. It actually wasn't that expensive, but for this little one, it felt expensive because it's so tiny. But this is, oh, it already was coming out. I didn't see that. This one is super like, I tried this one yesterday too. It's super just like highlighter on your face, but I assume it's good for you. So, wow, I have so many serums, serums, serums on my, on my face. face. Okay, now we can start my makeup. That just feels like, it just felt like that would be a good base for it. I don't know if it actually will be, but we'll see. Look how glowy my skin is. <gasps> So my camera is gonna be right here and I'm gonna be getting ready right in here Which means you're gonna have my side profile and it's even the worst side profile This side profile is better than this one But anyways, and I'll just show you what I'm doing and then do it in the mirror because I can't I don't have a mirror right here and you can't just go on my giant mirror So first thing I do is put my hair back I actually started doing this just yesterday But I might not because I actually look really ugly when I do this like, what, what is this? I just look disgusting like this, but I guess, I guess it's, it's okay. okay. Okay, first thing I do is I take this little tiny primer. It's Smashbox. Um, yeah, I got it in a subscription thing. I just got stabbed in the brain. Anyways, I put it like just on basically my problem areas where there's acne that I want to cover up which is mostly my nose and my chin, but I do a little bit right here. Nice! 
Next I use this Wet Wild Dewy Primer, an illuminating primer. Two primers, but this one I put all over my face. Makes me shiny. Now, none of you are allowed to make fun of the products I use, okay? Because I personally think there's no point in spending so much money on these fancy makeup brands that do the exact same thing as all the other ones. Okay, so don't say anything about it. Anyways, uh, now when I'm doing my normal, my natural makeup looks, like today, I, oh, also I never mentioned I slept with my mascara on, so that's why there's mascara already there. I just keep going with it there because I don't want to take it off and put it back. What was I saying? Oh, right. This is, I use BB cream for more natural days and I just put them all over my face like this. And this is probably not the correct technique for this, but this is just what I do with BB cream. And if I'm doing super duper natural, I'll use my hands to blend it in, but we're not going that natural today. Down to the neck, ladies. OMG, why aren't we blending? Do you see that? What is that about? Well, I don't know what the deal with the blending is, but I'm gonna ignore it because I feel like ignoring it. Oh, I should get Starbucks on my way to my hair appointment. What time is it? It's like 11? Hey Google, what time is it? It's 11, 11 a.m. Did you hear that? Make a wish, everybody. 11, 11, I wish for... Got it. This is where I put my concealer and I use Tarte Shape Tape. If there's one thing in this world that I hate doing that I feel like I have to do, it's blending concealer. I hate it more than anything. It takes forever. Just under my eyes. Oh, it drives me insane. And here I am doing it anyways. After that, I use, this is actually foundation, but I use this contour, but what's the word? Not liquid, cream contour. That's, this is a new, this is a new thing I've been using lately. I like it a lot. I feel like it just looks more natural in a way because it's more like it's just my skin because it's cream. Does that make sense? Anyways, I don't do a lot. I go like this and I go like this because this thing, this thing blends. Especially on my forehead, I don't need a lot because that thing, he goes crazy, man. Tiny bit on my nose like that. I look kind of silly. You can make fun of me all you want. Just kidding, you can't because I'll cry. Ooh, why does it look weird on this? Is this how I look or do I look how I look in the mirror? I didn't put in another tampon. I'm probably just bleeding all over my floor right now. Yeah, just woman things. Do you see how it gives me more of a natural kind of contour look than the powder? Maybe that's just me. I just feel like it does. And then I do powder over it, so really that defeats the whole purpose, but yeah. It looks good in the end, so don't even worry. I just need to look good because when I go to my hair appointments, like every time I've looked bad and then I'm supposed to post and she's supposed to post and I just look bad and then it's just like this not fun thing of me looking bad all over the internet, which is funny because that's already what I do, but feels worse when it's with other people. I contour my nose, but like basically not at all because I don't like how small my nose is. <laughs> like I feel like it's too, which is so funny because that's like what people want, but I just, not for me besties. Then I use some blush. I use the cheapest products you can find and that's how I like it, okay? Wow, that was a lot. OMG. It's okay because blush doesn't stay on for more than two seconds. By the time I'm done with the rest of my makeup, it's gone again and I'm like, cool. Now she's all blushed out. Then I use this, I use this more orangey thing to contour, not contour my nose, but you know the, like the look right now where the nose is like, has so much bronzer on it type look. That's what I do. I literally go 
with this other color because I like this one better. But then I add a little bit to the normal. See, and you probably think I look crazy. You'd be correct. Till you see the end. Okay, the end looks good. Kind of. Then I use this. And I use this for my eyebrows and to draw some little fake freckles. And I use the same brush for both of those things too. But I don't really need to fill in my eyebrows today because um, they're dyed right now. So I just go ee, ee, ee. It's like a seagull. Those are too big. Those are too big. Restart, restart, restart. Ee, ee, ee. Just a little, just a little. And I have freckles and they get like covered when I do my makeup. So it's basically like me redoing them, except I don't follow where they are because that would just be a lot harder than just doing them randomly. But then I just kind of blend them out like that and it's so good and fun. Don't look at my acne, look at my freckles. And then it makes your acne look less like acne and more like freckles, which is fun. I forgot, I also use, so this color that I do my nose fun thing with, I use as my eyeshadow and I just go like this. And we just have a little bit of color and it matches like a fun little outfit for my face. Hello well. Then I use this this highlighter. Ooh, pretty. And I go ee -e -e. like that. Oh, I keep forgetting steps in my makeup routine, which is embarrassing because I'm literally filming it. I use this when I'm contouring my nose. I do the little line like this. It gives you a button nose, but I do it better. I'm looking in a camera, so let me do it better and then you can see it. Oh, right. I actually use the other one, the orangier one. You can all make fun of me because that turned out extremely bad. So we're gonna ignore that. Mm. Megan. Anyways, and since I already have mascara, I'll just do my eyeliner and it'll be good and so good and so good and fun. Now this, I you can't really watch me do this because I have to go literally right next to my mirror to do it. Otherwise I will mess up. So BRB. Oh, there's one, now the other, and they're gonna look completely different because they always do. Oh my goodness, see look, eh. Completely different, but it's whatever and I'm gonna leave it because I don't care. So quirky of me to not care, right? Ha, normally I use telescopic mascara, but right now this, okay, so I use this Big Shot Volume Express. It's waterproof. This is my waterproof mascara. And I put it on my under ones because when I cry, that's the part that leaves. So it's just thinking ahead. I'll also do a layer on the top ones also in case I cry because then it just kind of keeps them in place. <sighs> There's a hair like glued to my eyelashes and it won't come off. Normally I would try to put effort into doing my eyebrows, at least like a little, but I'm not feeling that today. So we're just gonna, that's good. I don't think I ever used powder. Did I use powder? Did I like set my face at all? Anyways, then I use this. This is a new setting spray that I've been trying. Maybelline glass spray. And I don't know if I really super like it a lot, but whatever. <laughs> It smells good though. <coughs> does, <coughs> does not taste good though. Do not eat. Ew. Then I just kind of pat in the setting spray because there's like little droplets of sparkles. I take this eyeliner that's not liquid and I kind of just connect my eyeliner to my eye because sometimes it like flies away and it looks weird. Does that make sense? The eyeliners could not be more different. Mm, I don't care. Looking ugly, feeling ugly, OMG. But that's it, that's the makeup look, that's the makeup routine for my more everyday type of look. So, 
if you liked this video, like the video. If you hated this video, don't tell me because I'll cry. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you try my little routine. I think it's a really good, fun routine. I just look ugly. Maybe it's my hair, but I'm getting it done. That's the whole point of this, so it'll look better. Because I'm supposed to have it dirty when I go in. And this lighting makes me look gross anyways but hope you all have a super great day love you all so much have the best day ever 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 and subscribe love you all goodbye